Now from your local election headquarters, an update in the race for the 22nd Congressional District. A state Supreme Court judge ruling in favor of Republican Claudia Tenney with a razor-thin 109-vote margin. Tenney spoke with News Channel 9 last night. In the last congressional race in the country, the 22nd, a state Supreme Court judge ruling in favor of Republican Claudia Tenney with a razor-thin 109-vote margin. Claudia Tenney, joining us right now. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. Are you officially declaring victory in the lingering House race and heading to Washington? Uh, yes, we are declaring victory. The judge has ruled that uh, all the counties will certify and submit their certifications to the state board, and the state board will certify. And so we have been declared the winner, though it's a narrow margin. We are the winner with the most votes in a democratic uh, uh, government. This is uh, unfortunately the way it is. You know, winners have the most votes. So uh, we're very excited. I'm, uh, the privilege of being able to go back and serve in the House is very exciting. To me, it's a difficult time in our nation and I'm hoping to go back and bring the same compassionate advocacy that I brought when I served before and also the bipartisan uh, solutions that I have that I never really got credit for. Uh, one of the most bipartisan members in every bill I put out was bipartisan. I work with my Democratic colleagues. Uh, I always knew what it was like to be in the minority. I served in the state assembly when the count was uh, 108 Democrats to 42 Republicans. So uh, I think we can work together. I'm really hoping that some of my Democratic friends from my freshman class back in the 115th Congress, uh, we can go back to our commitment to civility and really bring our nation to another level. We really need that right now. And I just really want to bring some relief back to our communities, uh, especially this pandemic. Uh, so many small businesses are suffering. Uh, people are, are just not uh, able to keep their businesses going. And there's just so many, so many uh, issues that have affected us. And I think that we really need a rescue and help from the federal side. We'll get more into the issues in a moment. Just another question about the race itself. Yeah. Assuming Anthony Brindisi does appeal to say today's decision, either through the state court of appeals via the House itself, what would that mean for you? Certainly he has the right to appeal. I'm a lawyer as well, and uh, everyone has a right to appeal. I think it's quite curious that he's now, after 91 days, and now it's 94 actually, but he brought a motion on Monday claiming that the Dominion voting machines, the same voting machines that were used in most of the presidential race, uh, were, are, were invalid and uh, we're not counting the votes properly. So it's a little odd to claim a Dominion problem that, you know, 90 days uh, after Election Day and not, not claim it till this late date. He's also asking for more than a recount. He's actually asking that illegal votes be counted. And the judge was very clear in his decision. And he stated that all of the valid votes have been counted in New York's 22nd district. All the legal votes are counted, and it would be improper to try to bring in illegal votes at this time. And I'm paraphrasing slightly. But that's actually, the judge recognized this, and there's a reason he put that in the decision. Um, I think Anthony's going to have a hard time uh, on appeal, especially in the state side. Now, that doesn't rule out that Nancy Pelosi uh, could try to overturn this uh, this. Um, result using the House administration. I think at this time, if they're talking about unity and healing the nation and talking about democratic principles, that would certainly be the height of hypocrisy at this point. But we'll see what happens and we'll see how long they're going to carry it out. But I'm sure they're not going to give up easily. No official word from the Brindisi campaign on an appeal, but we did receive this statement, and it reads, I am shocked and surprised by this decision because of the countless errors and discrepancies that have occurred throughout this initial count. I believe a full audit and hand recount is the only way to resolve this race, end quote. Now, that full statement is on localsyr.com.